Hi guys, welcome back to Alpha Prepping. And I thought in today's video, I'll go through some simple tools that you can put in your basic DIY kit to do those odd jobs around the home. If you stick with us guys, I'll show you the options that you've got. All right guys, I mean, the first important thing is storage. I mean, most of us buy tools haphazardly, usually as and when we need them on different projects that we've got. And it usually doesn't take long to realize that you need something to store them in. So I found that um, I have a tool bag tote and a couple of little trays to organize my little bits in, such as my socket sets, my drill bits, etc. But also you can buy the boxes, all different shapes and sizes. And also you can buy, if you wanted, just a plain plastic, sto plastic, sorry, plastic storage box to keep your tools in. It's always better to have your tools all in one place, something you can grab quickly and take it into your property or take it into what a room to work on any project that you've got. Because you find is that sometimes when you do do projects, you usually need more than one tool. So if you've got all your tools in one place, then you just have to take the toolbox in with you and you've got everything to hand to do your, do your job with. Okay, when you start your project, you'll realize that accurate measurements is essential. And you'll always want to measure twice and cut once, or measure three times and cut once, or four times and cut once, etc. So what we have here, we've got a decent tape measure, a steel rule, a selection of pens and pencils, and a notebook. It's always better to plan your project out first before you even lift the tool. So you go measure up the sizes, the widths, whatever it is, and jot it down and make a plan of what you're going to do. And these items will help you do that. A good item to add to your kit is a level. Now I always go for a better brand level than a cheaper brand because I always found the better brands are more accurate because there's nothing nothing worse than having something that's out of plumb or out of level in the home because your eye will pick it up straight away. Levels come in all different sizes. They go right down to small boat levels that are six inches all the way up to like eight foot levels. And also you can get extendable levels. So there is a whole wide range out there for you to choose one to add to your kit to suit your own individual purposes. Another good tool you want to add to your measuring kit is a set square or a combination square. Both the combination square and set square will measure a 90 degree angle. Both of them have rulers on, so you're able to measure up with. But the combination square gives you a bit extra. It has a little level on. Also, it can give you a 45 degree cut as well. So either one of these would be good in your kit. Right, cutting tools are gonna to be a big part of your kit as well. You'll find that after you've measured and leveled stuff up that you might wanna cut down, things down to size. So what we have, we have a handsaw, and these come in different lengths and also they can be made to cut different items such as plastic, wood, etc. We've got a large hacksaw, once again can cut all different types of metals and plastics. And we have a junior hacksaw that can do the same thing of cutting plastics and metals. You'll find that with the hacksaws, you want to make sure that you have spare blades in your kit to replace them when they go blunt. Okay, here we have another selection of cutting tools. We've got a craft knife at the bottom, and with this craft knife, you can get different blades for different projects. Above that, we've got a selection of wood chisels, and these can come in all different shapes and sizes. You get the small ones here for doing small projects in the home, up to great big thick ones ready for doing projects on oak framed houses. And at the top, we have a different set of files and rasps as well to add to your kit. So we have a selection of tools here for your nuts and bolts and your little plumbing jobs, what have you. So at the bottom, we've got an adjustable spanner that will go to different size nuts. We've got a combination pair of pliers. And at the top, we've got some plumbing pliers that are also adjustable to fit different size nuts. And here we have two different sizes of hammers. So at the top, we've got a claw hammer for your more robust heavy duty work. This is about 16 ounce hammer. And at the bottom, we've got a cross pin hammer for all your small delicate work. So for I'm say putting up pitch hooks and that type of job. As you can see here, we've got a selection of screwdrivers. At the top, we've got some flat heads. And at the bottom, we've got some uh, posi drive uh, screwdrivers. Uh, what it is, you want different sizes because there's all different size screws that you're going to be coming across and using within the home. And you always want to make sure you've got the right, right head of screwdriver for the job. You don't want it to be too big or too small because if it's too big, it won't fit it. And if it's too small, you can end up stripping the head of the screw out. What we have here, guys, is some nail bars or pry bars. And you'll sometimes find that when you come to do projects, you have to do a bit of demolition work first. And these are a handy little tool to have for prying stuff open or prying stuff off the walls. They can be very versatile. Yeah, thanks for watching the video to the end, guys. I hope it's given you a few ideas to add to your own toolkit. When you give us a thumbs up, it'd be brilliant. Uh, check us out on Instagram and Facebook because we're posting on a regular basis. So stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.